Hello and welcome. I'm Ellen Sutherland, and here we are being spiritual. I've been asked to talk a little bit about blocks. What blocks our spiritual path, our spiritual life, our spiritual intention? Well, say you decide to be kind. Seems like a pretty safe spiritual stance to take. You don't even have to be spiritual to do it. You just decide to be kind, unequivocally kind. So that means you have to be kind to yourself and your own thinking, your own actions, and your own past, as well as being kind to anyone that comes before you in your life. People on the highway, people in the subway, people in stores, family, friends. Be kind. So it seems pretty simple. But of course, you all know, as soon as you make a confirmed commitment to being kind, what happens? Okay, what happens? In walks the person that you most dislike in the world, that irritates you the most, or they in walks somebody you love and they do something that's very difficult for you to accept. And your kindness goes out the window. That uh, situation is presenting a block to your intention. And the block is reflected as uh, negative beliefs. Maybe you believe that people should act a certain way. Um, that if people do act in certain ways, like if they are unkind to you, or if they are rude to you, or if they um, hurt someone else, that you should not be kind to them. Right? So that's a block. Because if you decide to be kind, unequivocally kind, unconditionally kind, across the board kind, then none of uh, the actions or reactions of another person will uh, count or have, have any effect on you. Then none of the actions of the person count doesn't matter what they do or what they say or what they didn't do or didn't say. And then you begin to sit back and realize that, hmm, something as simple as being kind, unconditionally kind, unequivocally kind, will bring up every belief you have, every stance you hold, every more or social more that you've collected along the way to be addressed, looked at, sorted through, and surrendered, let go. So that's what I mean when I say blocks. We have blocks until we are enlightened, and even then I'm not sure, since I'm not enlightened, that we don't have blocks afterwards. But it's, if you think of a, a pure white crystalline light, and you drop a little shadow in it of, say, gray or black or red or blue or green or yellow. doesn't matter. You drop anything in that, you've changed it. It's not what it originally was intended to be, which is white. So if you have kindness and you drop a little quick judgment in there, it's not, it's not kindness anymore. It's kindness with reservation. With kindness with you holding back in that situation. And so on our spiritual practice, we look to all of those things, all of those blocks that come up, perhaps in a different way than uh, we used to before we became uh, entranced with the spiritual life. We look at those blocks as signals, as actually gifts. I think I mentioned that in a recent post, as gifts. The person that walks in the door that is uh, irritating, that's like your sand and you're the oyster, that's irritating, offers you, offers you the opportunity to discover the place in you that cannot be kind yet. And then you have a choice. When it's invisible, 
You have no choice. If you've decided that there are some people that you should not be kind to, then you don't have a choice anymore. You've made that decision. You have that belief. If, however, you realize that as soon as you're not in an expression of kindness, that that person is providing you with a signal or a flag to let you know, here's a place, here's a place where I believe something other than my intention. And at that point, you can surrender it, and you can use a technique to release it, and it becomes a gift. So blocks can be our gifts. But anyways, that's what a block is. I hope that helps you understand them a little better and maybe see them a little more kindly. Peace to you.